moving at the same time. So what you're going to start with is you're going to take a step forward, bring a knee high and pull it towards you. And then you keep taking another step and you alternate. If you can take two or three, four, three or four steps forward and pull good and then you make your way back. So early on, you're going to have to work on your balance, right, on that one leg, bring the knee high, pull it towards you, and switch, you can even do a little backwards walk, start over. So a lot of uh, movements, pretty much all movements actually, are single side movements and I'll, you'll see when we get started with that first part going for that last one here so we're kind of stretching the hip flexor we're gonna go with the um, kind of same similar movement but this time we're gonna pull the leg back and you're gonna extend your opposite arm up as well okay so you're grabbing the ankle and extending an arm overhead. Okay. Step and reach. And you put a little bit of rhythm on that back pedal as well. Balancing early. Let's do one more round here, pulling the leg. Then we're gonna get the hamstrings and the glutes to do some work. Alright, so we're still gonna come and walk forward, but this time we're gonna do some uh, some reaches to the floor, single leg RDOs, right? So you're still doing a lot of balancing work. Hinge at the hips, touch the floor, take a step with the opposite foot, and do that same exact movement. So nice little hinge, you're gonna feel the pull on the back of the leg, squeeze that hamstring, squeeze that glute as you are coming back up. Be careful with your knee position, as always. Try to keep it in line with your big toe, and your big toe should be pointing straight or a little bit outwards. We're gonna go one more time here with those RDL walks. Beautiful. Now let's go for a few swing lunges, you guys. So that's basically going from a forward lunge all the way to a reverse lunge. Only swinging the right leg for now. Okay, if you need to, after you take your forward lunge, if you need to pause in the middle and then go into reverse lunge, you can do that as well. Just doing a few seconds of those. And then switch legs. So this time the left leg is going to go forward and back. The right leg stays anchored in the same position on the floor. here. 
That was a quick five minutes. Shake those legs off. Let me just check on the video. And we're looking good. Awesome. So, if you look at the board, you'll notice I've put an EA at the end of uh, each movement. That means each side. So, on every movement you're doing, you're doing all the reps with the same side first before you switch. So, one side's gonna get fatigued right from doing all the reps before you switch sides. So, for example, for the reverse lunge, we'll do them together. We got 10 reps. We're gonna do 10 reps and I'm gonna start with the right leg working, okay? So, my left foot's gonna be anchored on the floor. Gonna do reverse lunge with the right leg here and then explode, come up high with the high knee. It's actually my left leg working because it's on the floor but we're gonna keep it that way here. So left foot, like I said, stays anchored. You're doing that reverse lunge and then you're coming into a high knee which is a hop, which makes you hop off the floor. If you can't come off the floor, just do a high knee Without, without the hop, and if you have any issues with the lunge, go for a squat into that high knee. So let's get 10 here with that left foot anchored, and then we'll get another 10 with the right foot anchored. So let's do a reverse lunge to high knee. One, lunge, high knee, two. Keep it going, three, four. If you have shoes, it's a little bit more comfortable than barefoot with the toes. We're at five, six. You can explode if you can, seven. Eight. It is our warm-up demo round, so nine. If you're not hopping in, that's okay. Ten. And then let's switch legs. So you'll feel it. My left leg, like where I was working here, starting to feel the burn. Let's go opposite side here. Right leg is anchored. Reverse lunge to high knee. One. Always keeping that knee in line with the toe. Two. Always breathing going down. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, ooh, the burn is here now. Eight, nine, and ten. So as you notice, I like to control the descent on the reverse lunge and then try to put the speed coming up and always, always breathing, using my arm swing to stay balanced. So that's the reverse lunge to hump, we did ten, to hop, we did ten on one, ten on the other. Now we're gonna do a plank leg lift. Same idea here, you guys. Go ahead and get into your plank position. And here, I'm gonna lift the, the right leg up eight times, and then I'm gonna do another eight lifting the leg, left leg. So let's go together, lifting the right leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch sides, left leg eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. If you like to start with the left first, you can do that as well. That's up to you, but as long as you don't alternate today. Single leg bridge, get it on your back. If you can't do a single leg bridge, do it with both feet on the floor, but double the reps and go for 16. Otherwise, it's eight per leg. This time I'll start it off with my left foot flat on the floor. I go for eight reps here, you guys. Squeeze the glutes high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Switch legs. Let's get another eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six seven and eight nice and final movement here it's gonna be a single leg v up again pick what leg you want to do first it's basically a sit up and you're lifting one leg up at the same time if you can't come all the way up into, into the sit up just lift your upper back off the floor you can even bend your knee coming up it's a little bit easier so let's go for eight on one side i'm going to start with the left again one two three four, five, six, seven, and eight. I'm gonna do the option for the other side. Here we go, another eight on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. 
Hopefully we start feeling that core. Beautiful, you guys. So since it's all body weight, you might be able to get a little bit more than two rounds today on that first part. And I'll let you get started right here in three, two, and one. You're good to go, you guys. Reverse lunge into the hop, you pick your side. Legs getting tired, just get that little break in between so you can stay explosive. And 10 is a good amount of reps, right, for that movement. So take the breaks if needed. You don't need to lift your legs super high on the plank leg lift, but you don't want to rush it though. Spend some time in that plank. third of the way actually three minutes in It'd be fun to switch to the side that you typically start with on your second round. Shoes, really building some toe strength, which is good for you too. So if you're doing it without the shoes, has its benefits, just be careful if you're not used to doing that. Oh, 
12 set mess on those lunge hops. Even if that means taking a longer break. The other three moves are slower. You got three minutes left in part number one. Don't mess it up, stay on one side. I was alternating here on the V ups, so one side on at a time. So if you get to a third round, stay in order because reverse lunges are all to hops are only done in this uh, first part. So might as well get a third round on those. Man, it's already so hot, I'm gonna have to turn their AC up soon. So you only got 35 seconds to go here. If you're on the launch ups, maybe quit your first set short and alternate to the other side here. To get the same amount of reps on both sides. Alrighty guys, go ahead and rest up for a bit here. We're done with part number one. Moving on to part number two. Same idea though. Still doing 10 on one side, fatiguing one part of the body and then balance, balancing it out. So we're not done with the lunges either. This time those are static lunges. So all you need to do, start with one leg forward, one leg back, the same width that you had when you were doing a reverse lunge, okay? And you're gonna stay in this position for 10 reps. So put, put yourself in that position with me, and let's drop down into the lunge, and squeeze back up. This one's slower, more control in the movement. We're on that second rep here. We're going for 10, three, four. You can really see your knee alignment here. Five, your angle to at the knee to make sure you're good. Six, since it's slow, you're able to really pay attention to your form. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, and switch legs. Same width here, and we're going down. One, 
two, three, four, five, stay with it, I know it's burning here, six, we got it, seven, eight, keep that chest up and proud, nine, last one, and ten, Woo. so shake it up, that's one of the movements where you could add weights if you wanted to, but today, you don't have to, it's all body weight, so that's a, that's a progression if you wanted to do it. We get a side plank kick through next. We're gonna do, again, all six on one side. So I'm gonna kick my right leg towards the left for six reps. So the way it works, you're starting in a push-up position here, you guys, and you're coming all the way to a side plank. See how high my hips are? Okay, I'm on, bouncing on one arm and kicking through. Coming back to the center and going back to that same side. Two, three. Here's a quick option, you guys. You can be on your knees, we can come to the side and do a torso rotation instead. Okay, let's finish those three reps here on the right. Four, five, and six. We're still in that push-up position, now we're going to opposite side for six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job. I twist my feet too, right? so that it doesn't pull on my knee. The foot twists to the side. So that's the side plank kick through, six on each side. Next up is a single leg Romanian deadlift. It's a lot of reps, okay? We're gonna do five on each side together, but after that you're gonna be doing 10, all right? We kinda did that in the warm up. So, I'm gonna start here on my left foot, balance out on one side, kick the right leg back and try to keep your hips level, your shoulders level, your back flat, and kick as far as you can, okay? If you're able to, you got a straight line from your foot to your head right here, and then you squeeze and get back at the top. That's number one, let's go four more on this side. Kick that leg back, squeeze hamstring and glutes, get up, two. Kick back, balance out, keep that knee strong here. Three as you squeeze up, kick back. Let's keep the core engaged, squeeze four. Last one on the left here, this is just for the demo five. Squeeze and up. Okay, let's get another five on the right. Remember, this can be 10 on each side when you're doing it on your own. Okay, feet five on the floor on the right. Kick that left leg back. Core engage and squeeze. One. Engage at the hips. Two, you should feel a good pull on the side of the hip as well if it's all leveled up. Three as we squeeze up. We got two more. I know balancing isn't easy here. Four, it's very good practice. Last one for the demo. And five, squeezing up. Great exercise. Okay, next up, we're going one leg push-up. This is advanced, so if you're not able to do push-ups from your feet, just do it from the knees. It's gonna be a total of 12 push-ups from the knees as an option. Otherwise, if you're able to, you're gonna be on one foot. Okay, so I'm gonna be only on my left foot for six, six push-ups, so do it with me here. And legs up, I'm on three legs. Going for six push up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, and switching sides. Now my right foot is flat. Oh, my right foot is on the floor, my right toes. My left leg is up. Six more push ups. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There's way more core involvement when you're doing it on one leg. So. Sure you notice that if you did on one leg, breathe, and let's go for that last one here. It's gonna be a plank toe tap. So again, 10 reps, as you can see it, on each side. So let's do all 10 on each side together. Drop down to your plank, and I'm gonna start with my left foot. My left foot's gonna come out to the side, tap, and come back to the center. Just a light tap, you don't need to put too much weight on it. So that was one, let's get nine more. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. The further you go from away from your body or from your other foot, the harder it is. Ten on the right side now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
And 10. All right. You're in a plank for a good little while here. It's a good exercise. Great exercise. So, you guys, let's give you 10 minutes. Let's see if you can get two rounds of what we just did right now. Let's do it in three, two, and one. Let's go for it. Starting with the static lunges. Just pick your leg. Nice wide base. You guys are still here, still doing great. Saturday morning, man. Way to get up. Get that weekend started. Beautiful day outside. Although we're staying home or maybe a little run around the neighborhood. Ten. Get your ten switch legs. So you have to rebalance. That's all right. Keeping that static position, go through all 10 reps. Remember, plank kick through, all six on one side, and then you balance it out on the other side. Important that you twist your feet so it's not uncomfortable. I'm almost taking a step. And don't rush the RDLs. They're going to take you a while here to get 10 reps on each side. That's fine. Really practice getting your, uh, improving on your balance here. The calf might tighten up when you're doing single leg RDLs. It's being stretched out as well. That's okay. Shake it off if you need to. You'll be able to notice which side is a little stronger, which side you can bounce better on. Definitely my right. Honestly, two rounds gonna be pretty good. You get that? We got, we're four minutes in. I still got two movements in in this first part, on this first round.
Evet. Five minutes in, five to go. Yep, that went fast. Might be body weight, but still takes some time when we're doing all those single leg, single side movements. Happy when the lunges are done, huh? Keep moving, team. Keep moving. Let's get those those two rounds here. Going for three minutes here. Definitely want to get two rounds on the single leg RDL, so you're only doing them in part number two. I didn't even give you an option for that one. Um, Hopefully you've been able to do them. You could do them with both feet plowed on the floor too. Use a little bit more tempo, obviously, to double the reps. Only thing is you don't get that balance challenge if you got both feet anchored on the floor. We got 45 seconds here, you guys. Twenty seconds. If you're trying to finish something up, go for it. 
Way to stay with it. You're all still here and ready to get that challenge going. Go ahead, take a break. All right. This challenge, it's, it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna do the five movements that are on the board, but all on one side only first. For 45 seconds of work, you'll get 30 seconds of rest before we transition to the next movement. And I would like us all to start doing it on the left side. So that means for the plank leg lift, we're gonna lift our left leg up, okay? For 45 seconds, only one side. Then we're gonna go to the V-up and lift our left leg on the single leg V-up. For the static lunge, typically the leg that is forward is doing the most work, so we're gonna start with the left leg forward. The side plank kick through, we're gonna kick the left leg as well. That's gonna work the, the left side of our core. And lastly, on the one leg push up, you'll have your left foot on the floor for the, uh, for the first round. Now, if you need the option, right, if you need to be on your knees to do the push ups, that's totally fine, honestly. Because we're gonna be doing push ups for 45 seconds. It's a long time. So if you need to drop to the knees at any time, totally fine with that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good challenge, you guys. I hope you're ready for it. Let's get a set up here, plank position. Remember, you are lifting your left leg for 45 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. And you don't need to do that many lifts, right? Go slowly, take a little break between lifts. Because it's, it's a 45 second plank, basically, with leg lifts. And we've done 20 seconds of it, 25 to go. If anything, just hold the plank. Do your best to hold it for 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good job. Now you're going to be on your back. And you're going to be lifting the left leg up. So let's get set up for that one. We're starting in in 15 seconds, you guys. All right, you with me? 45 seconds, knee ups in three, two, and one. Let's do it. Only the left leg. Fifteen down, thirty to go. Seconds, you guys. Keep moving. Come on, you got one more rep. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice. Let's get up. All right. Static lunge. You know that one's gonna burn the quad. If you can't lunge down anymore, okay? If you're really getting super tired, just keep it up on that static lunge position, all right? And whenever you're ready to go for another rep, you do that, or you just hold that top position. I'm a little slow here. Here we go, guys. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Left leg is forward. And we'll stay balanced, too. Guys, 15 down, 30 go. Ooh, there it is. You got 15 seconds to go. Try to keep repping now if you can. About one or two more reps here. Three, two, and one, good job. 
Okay, it's gonna be plank position, high plank position. And we're gonna kick our left leg through, right? So kicking our left leg through to the right side for the plank kick through. Uh, there it is, in three, two, one, let's do it. Try not to get your butt to stick up too much and keep that strict plank position, high plank position. We passed the 15 second mark. We're going to get way more reps than six here. You got 15 seconds to go. I know it's a challenge, but you got this. Three, two, and one. Come off your hands for a bit, shake them off, because that's where you're spending the rest of your block here on your hands, so, or the rest of this first round, I should say. It's gonna be the single leg push-up, right? So we're on our left leg and slow push-up. You can kind of kick it at the top as well. Because you know 45 seconds you're gonna be able to get some reps. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Let's do it. Remember, it's the last exercise on the left side. If you need to rest both feet, that's fine. 15 seconds to go. This one is the most challenging one. We got it. Three, two, and one. Oh, God. I know, that was, that was a hard one, for sure. We're not going very far, we're gonna be on our elbows. Now we got our right leg squeezing up. It's gonna be tough, because we just had the left leg balancing us right now, I know. Dig through this one, it'll feel better when we get to the single leg view up. Okay, let's do it. Plank position, lifting your right leg up, 45 seconds, three, two, and one, let's do it. Again, if you can't lift it up anymore, just hold a plank. Twenty-five seconds to go. Can you push to 10 seconds, guys? You got it. Three, two, and one rest. Woo, we're finally gonna go to our backs here. Single leg via lifting the right leg up. All right. Get comfortably set up, we're going to go soon here. Let's do it, three, two, and one, we're up. Right leg on the knee. Try not to stop repping it, even if you're not coming all the way to a sit up. Even if you're using the option. 20 seconds done. <sighs> Guys, we got 10 seconds. Let's get it. Three, two, and one. Yes. 
Good job. Three more movements to go. We got that static lunge. This time your right leg is going forward. Way to step with me here. We got time for a quick sip. Right leg forward, left leg back, static lunge in. Three, two, and one. More than halfway, guys. 20 seconds to go here. You got it, you got it, you got it. Keep repping. Go two or three more reps here. Three, two, and one. We're getting there. Side plank kick through. The right leg's gonna kick through to the left side this time. Let's get down to the floor. Push up position. And kick through in three, two, and one. Thirty seconds to go in this one. Fifteen down. Yes, this is the tough part, no doubt about it, guys. 15 seconds. It is three, two, and one. Awesome. Push ups, and we're done, you guys. It's gonna be that right foot anchored. Twin stay on that right leg for 45 seconds if you're able to do the push ups from there. Modify it if needed. Are we ready for this, you guys? This is our last one, then we got a nice little stretch. Here we go. Three, two, and one. We're up. And pushing. Fifteen down, thirty to go. Fifteen seconds, guys. You got it, we're right here. In three. Oh my goodness. Oh, staying on one leg was killer for the hip flexor. But don't worry, we're gonna stretch it out. Good job. Making it through. Oh my goodness, we're gonna start standing just for a little bit here. I want us to get a couple uh, quad and hip flexor stretches today. So, if you got something to hold on to, it'll be a bit easier. Grab your left leg, stretch out that quad. Make sure you're squeezing the glute on that side that you're pulling. We'll really get a nice stretch on the front of the leg here. Man. Okay, nicely done. If you did it all the way through this, this was quite challenging. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides.
and release. We're gonna go for a downward facing dog. Spend a little bit of time in that position. Go ahead and inhale up. Exhale, hinge. And go right into the down dog. Let's bring the left leg next to the left hand. Drop, drop your right knee to the floor. We're in a runner's lunge position here. Starting by translating forward a little bit, okay? And then really, again, squeezing that right glute so that you get a really solid pull in the front of your right leg here. And squeezing that butt. And finally, adding that side bend. Right hand comes up as you breathe in. Except you left. Great. Let's switch legs. Right leg forward. Leaning forward a little bit here. Squeeze the left glute. Nice squeeze. Now left hand comes up. Exhale to your right. Stay right here. Get the right leg down on the floor, cross in front of you. Stretch on that right side, big breath in. Exhale, lower yourself if you can. Switch sides here. Left leg is crossed in front of you. Deep breath in first. time here stretching out the hamstrings and then we'll go into our full body stretch from there so both feet pointed towards you go ahead deep breath in exhale reach We're gonna go for one deep breath in this forward fold position and then we're gonna extend our way out all the way back full body stretch ready you guys big breath in exhale release rest of your day. See you back here on Monday morning, 8 a.m. as always. Take care.